Yeah, I just watched that one eat it. That's a decent one right there. That's a decent fish. Dock number 29. Oh, yep, we got one. That's four in a row. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something that I have not done on this channel, but I've been meaning to do for quite a while, and that's test a theory that I have. And uh, what we want to see is how many of these docks actually hold bass underneath them. So we've picked a lake today that's about 100 acres. It probably has about 50 docks on it, but we're going to skip a Senko under every single one of these docks, two casts per dock, just to make sure that we get a nice cast underneath there. And we're going to get the percentage. How many of these docks actually hold bass is it 5 out of 50? Is it 10 out of 50? Is it 1 out of 50? I have no idea, but we're going to see how many of these docks actually have a largemouth bass underneath it. Uh, if I set hook and I get the fish like halfway to the boat and I see for sure it's a largemouth bass, that one isn't going to count because we're not testing whether or not I can land a fish. We're testing to see how many largemouth bass are actually underneath these docks. So I don't know if I'm going to lose any, but I just wanted to add that in because I am going to count it if I do have a largemouth on underneath one of these docks. But we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider subscribing. And if you really liked today's video, please hit it with that thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. But without further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to be tossing a Senko under every single freaking dock in this entire lake right here. So it's going to be an interesting one. I really do wonder how many of these actually have bass under them. So let's go find out. So like I said in the intro, we're just going to be fishing a little four inch Senko right here. And as you guys can see, this dock right behind me, that is going to be the last dock that we fish. So all we're going to do is hop on the trolling motor, go around the entire lake, fish every single dock, and we're gonna take two casts under each one of them just to make sure we don't wanna have one really bad cast and then maybe there's a fish under there that we don't even have a chance at catching. So two casts per dock. This is gonna be the first one we fish and we're just gonna loop around this entire lake real quick. So really quick, one last thing before we jump into the fishing, guess right now down in the comment section below how many docks that you think that we catch a fish under out of a total of 69 docks. That's how many docks that we just fished out here. What do you guys think? How many are we gonna get? Guess right now down below before you watch the video, but let's jump into the fishing. So here we go. First dock of the day. See if there's a bass underneath it. Right up the center of it too. Good first cast. It's really gonna be interesting to see what the percentage is on docks that actually have fish on them. So there's dock number two right here. So dock number two, still no fish. We are 0 for two. We're gonna update you guys when we actually catch a fish, but so far two docks and nothing. Dock number eight, still no fish. Come on, lucky number eight. Oh, there we go. Is it a bass? It is a very small bass, but that does count as number one. So literally on dock number eight, that was the first one that we caught a fish on. We're going to keep it going, see what the percentage is. Hopefully we catch some bigger ones than that because that is a mega dink right there. But as far as having bass underneath the dock, it does count for today's video. So we are one for eight so far. There we go. Dock number 10. That's a decent one. A little bit better fish. Okay, so we have two fish out of 10 docks right there. Not a terrible percentage, two out of 10. That is about what I was expecting, I would say. We've got 20% going so far. 20% of the docks that we have fished have had a bass underneath them. Probably about a 10 inch of there. Nothing too special, but like I said, today we're just trying to see how many of these docks actually hold bass underneath them. Size does not matter in this challenge. So that last fish right there just got me wrapped around a post. So we're gonna retie real quick. Got our ego pliers. If you guys wanna check these out, it's gonna be linked down below. Best fishing pliers in the game. But just a little update. We are on 10 docks so far and we have caught two bass, like I just said. So we probably have at least like 30 more docks to fish, I'd say. And uh, I just want to see what the percentage is. So far, we're at 20%, not too bad. And uh, hopefully one of these docks is going to have a decent sized fish under it too, because so far both of those ones were just little squeaks. But the main focus of the challenge is just to see how many of these docks have bass. I just want to know. I just want to know, guys. Well, this is dock number 20 right here. The first 10 docks, we caught two fish. We have not caught another bass since though. Second stretch of 10, we have not caught a single fish. We actually got into some deeper water too. I thought that these docks were going to get a lot better. And so far, nothing. Moving on to dock number 21. Dock number 23. There we go, got one. She's wrapped up, but we got her. Well, I definitely see the fish, so it counts even if this fish gets off, but there we go, she's out. That's a decent one right there, boys. That's a decent fish. I'm gonna get the net just because we got real light line, nice and easy. She would be a nice line burner in a tournament. One that would probably make you really sad, actually. But that is dock number 23 and fish number three right there. So we are three for 23 on docks. Nice little bass right there. Biggest one so far. We're stepping it up. Every single bass we've caught so far has got a little bit bigger. Nice fish going back in. Three for 23. Oh, there we go. 24 also has a fish on it. Two back to back right there. 
All right, all right, four for 24, just a little dink. Broke our streak of increasing in size, but that's okay. Moving on to dock 25, see if we can get three in a row. This is also just kind of part of the challenge too. It's like, we're trying to find out the percentage of docks that have fish, but also why some docks tend to hold fish more than others. Like, why does this stretch have fish? This one back here didn't have any, but then where we started also had fish. And so far what I'm noticing, like I said, is this is a lot shallower water, which I don't know why they want to be in shallower water right now, but it's just those tiny little things that you take notice of on the water. If you were fishing a tournament, you would run that pattern. You would stick with shallower docks for the rest of the day. So it's those kind of things that we're trying to pick up on here. But so far, four for 24 on these docks. Oh, here we go. Just got another one. That's three in a row right there, boys. That is five for 25. 25th dock also had a bass on it. And that's what I'm talking about. We got into this little pattern right here. All these shallow docks are holding fish. Five for 25 on the freaking clock here. Moving on to dock number 26. Can we go four docks in a row with catching a bass? Can we do four in a row? Dock number 29. We are way back in there. Oh, yeah, I just watched that one eat it. That's a decent one right there. That's a decent fish. Dock number 29. Got another solid one. We're gonna boat flip them. Please don't snap. Okay, here we go. Nice little chunk right there for dock number 29. That is fish number six. Six out of 29 docks right there. Nice little chunk. I legit skipped that Senko so far back underneath there and I watched that fish grab it though. This water's so clear and shallow that these fish are sitting in. Dock number 35. Oh yeah, we got one. We got one. That is number seven on dock number 35 right there. Another halfway decent one, nothing too crazy. This lake's not known for having giant fish in it. Got a lot of like 10, 12 inches, but like I said, for this challenge, I wasn't really worried about size. I just wanted to know how many of these docks actually were gonna hold a fish underneath them. So that is number seven for 35 docks right there. Let me get this hook out. We we're using these little zone lock finesse hooks. And as you guys can see, we've stuck every single fish so far. Not a single one has got off. Awesome little size one zone lock finesse hook. Another little 10, 12 incher, but that was dock number 35 right here. I'm actually just not gonna count these ones right here. We're not gonna fish them. It's not gonna count against us or for us because they're all covered in lily pads. So we're not gonna really be able to effectively fish this. So seven for 35, that's gonna be the last one we fish on this shoreline. We're gonna hop over across to the other bank now though. So as we approach dock number 36 right here, if you guys wanna check out the rig that we're using today, all it is is a little four inch Senko on that size one zone lock finesse hook. Awesome little finesse hook. As you guys have seen, we've pinned up every single fish today. Even the ones that are wrapped around posts and stuff, we've got them in the boat, but that's gonna be linked down below, but we are at dock number 36. So far we are seven for 35, which I don't know. I'll, I'll throw the percentage up that we have right now on the screen, cause I actually have no idea what seven out of 35 is. I don't feel like doing math. I'm done with school boys. We are done with college and uh, we don't have to do math anymore. We have calculators. So here we go, dock number 36. There we go, dock number 37. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been counting all the pontoon boats and boat slips and stuff off to the side as part of the dock too, because it's all part of the ecosystem of that dock. But that is fish number eight on dock number 37 right there. We probably have at least like 20 more left. So I guess we do have more than 50 docks probably in this lake, but we're gonna keep chugging. So far, pretty solid percentage. Eight out of 37 is not too bad. We are on dock number 40. Still have got eight fish. There we go. Now we got nine fish. Nine out of 40. Not bad, guys. We're at almost 25% right there. That is a lot of docks that have bass on them. 25% of the docks that we've skipped so far pretty much have bass. Nine out of 40. 53. Got them. There we go. That is number 11 out of 53 docks right there. Another little squeaker guy. That was way in the back of that pontoon boat though. Got that little zone lock finesse hook right in the roof of the mouth, right in that sweet spot. Number 11 out of 53 docks. Keep on chugging and plugging. We probably have about four or five docks in front of us here. And then maybe like seven or eight left to fish over there as well. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty there. Okay, dock number 54. Not the best skip, I'm not gonna lie. Got right to the outer edge only. And guess what, didn't matter. There we go, 12 out of 54. Just like that, we're staying above that 20% mark. That's a pretty good percentage for docks. 12 out of 54 docks have had a bass underneath them. That was two in a row. There was a huge gap in between them, but that was two docks in a row that had fish too. So try to keep it going here. Dock number 55. That was not where I was trying to put that Senko. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. She was right next to that pontoon. That is 13 out of 55 docks, and that's three in a row right there too. Come here, buddy. 
13 fish on 55 docks and three fish in a row. Seems like you get into little streaks, like you get into a little hot section of docks and you get a couple back to back to back. Toss that one back in, move on to dock number 56. We are cooking, we are down to, uh, I guess there still is about four docks over here too. And then we're gonna shoot across the other side and finish this off. Dock number 56, kind of a barren one. It's got a decent amount of shade underneath it though. These last few docks have been like mega docks though compared to this one. Oh yep, we got one, that's four in a row. That is four in a row right there. Fish number 14 out of what what is this now i'm starting to lose track and go crazy i think that was 56 in the video i'll correct it if i'm wrong but i think that this is number 14 out of 56 docks right there if i'm not mistaken she has got that hook so good this little zone lock finesse hooks pin them every freaking time i swear to you guys there we go number 14 i don't know now i'm starting to get messed up holy smokes we just caught so many in a row that I'm starting to get confused a little bit. So we just fished dock number 60. We're shooting over to the very last stretch of docks right here. But as far as I know, we have 15 fish out of 60, which brings us to 25%. But if it's a little bit different than that, I'm going to throw it up on the screen right here so you guys know exactly what's going on. Like I said, we just caught like five in a row right there. So I got all mixed up. But I think that we have 15 out of 60. We are headed to the last, like, I would say, I don't know, eight or nine docks, something like that. So we're going to have about 70 docks in this, like a little bit more than I was actually anticipating. But so far, 60 down, 15 fish in the boat. There we go, on dock number 62. Little guy, come in the boat. 16 fish on 62 docks. Dock number 63, and I see one underneath there. I can literally see one. Yeah, there she is. Oh, she's wrapped around that motor. She's wrapped around the motor. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I literally saw that one. I had to run to the back of the boat, make a pitch underneath there. What is that? 17 out of 63 docks right there. We are on a freaking roll. We only have like five more docks left and we might hit 20 out of about 70 docks. Legit sticking these fish so good with that little zone lock hook. Dock number 68 right here and this is the second to last dock. The only one that we have left to fish is that one right there. Nothing on the last dock of the day. But we're gonna go do a little recap and talk about the day, but 17 out of 69 docks. So this was a video idea that I had since last year. Finally got a chance to come out here and film it, and we caught a bass on 17 out of 69 docks. Pretty good day in the water. It was just about 25%. Like I said, it might be a little bit off, but I'll put the exact numbers on the screen because I did get a little bit messed up back there. But either way, about 25% of the docks had a bass on it. That percentage was a little bit higher than I was expecting. I was thinking more like one out of 10 docks or so, so like a 10%, but it was a fun video to film. I really just wondered that. Obviously, Obviously every single lake's different, every single day is gonna be different, but I just wanted to see if you fish every single dock in the lake, what would happen? How many bass would you catch? And on this particular lake, 17 out of 69 is what we got. But fun time filming this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. But otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video.